In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to remove the uh, the crown from a watch. And the reason I'm doing this is I had another video where I rebuilt the crown for a bull of a watch. It got a lot of views. And I'm like, why is people watching this video? And I did some research. I found out that they're interested in how to take a crown off a, a watch. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. This looks strange because I, uh, you know, got the movement a while ago and then I bought a stem and then I got a crown and then I got a case. And I put it all together and, you know, now I have to fit the, uh, the stem to the case, which I'll do one of these days. I'm in no rush. So that's why this thing looks strange. And I also chose this watch because I know I can get this crown off easily because other crowns may be on there for a long time and they're exposed to you know perspiration and water and it you know stuff corrodes and may not come off too easily so that's the one thing you gotta watch out for so I already uh, loosened the top on this one so I can take the top off and uh, the movement comes out real easy because it's not really meant for this case I'll have to fix that I'm left with the movement and yeah you have to take the movement out to remove the crown because you have to get to the stem and I guess you can see here that the uh, stem is threaded because the crown screws on so the first thing you have to do to get the stem out is you have to uh, well you have to unscrew this little screw let's see if I can do this yeah a little screw right here and uh, I usually screw it one and a half turns because if you go any further than one and a half, something else will fall off, and then you'll have to take the whole thing apart. So that's one half, that's one turn, and one and a half turns. So now it will slide right out. Yeah, you gotta remember, if you unscrew this all the way, you're screwed. You got problems. So there's the uh, stem stem with the crown and you can see it's got uh, the threads on there and it's got a square part to it and then a pointy end and you see that groove in there that's where it uh, oh it doesn't want to focus now and yeah, the groove that's where it locks in so that's why you have to unscrew that screw so what I'm gonna do first is uh, see if I can get the pliers in there I'm gonna hold it by the square end like that and I know this is going to unscrew and I'm unscrewing the crown let's see if I can do it without dropping it so it unscrews off and there you can see the uh, let's even get the threaded portion and there you can see the threads on it I'll have to cut it down to fit it to the case but that's how it comes off and to put it on well you just gotta screw it back on let's see if I can do that Oh, I did it. And then you just screw it on. And you don't have to get it tight, just snug, because every time you wind the watch, you tighten it, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. And then you just reverse put it on, stick it back in. This is a Wittenauer movement. I'll tell you, this movement runs for like 54 hours on a wind. I was really surprised. So I put it all the way in and then I just gotta tighten that screw if I can see it. Have one uh, all the way. So I got it all the way in and I know I got it all the way in because when I I can pull it out and uh, you know change whoops. Well, let me uh, wind it up a little bit to tighten the crown. So I'm tightening the crown right now. And then I can pull it out. And that's ah, still not tight enough. Now you got to wind it up all the way to tighten it. So, tightening, tightening, tightening. Maybe now. Yeah, okay, whoops, still came loose. Well, looks like you gotta wind it all the way up to tighten it. Okay, maybe should have tightened it on the, uh, while I had it out. 
Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. But anyway, so now it's tight. Yeah, you don't want to over, don't want to. So that's how you replace the crown on a watch. Pocket watch is a lot easier. They're uh, stronger, so they can take more abuse. So I'm just going to drop that back in there. And, uh, and there's the cover. Where's the, uh, it's got a thing. There's the thing. So, eh, I'm not going to snap together. But anyway, that's how you replace the crown on a watch. Well, let's look at the movement. Everybody likes to look at the movements. Yeah, that's the Wittenauer. Let's see. Wittenauer Watch Co. It's a nice movement. Runs okay. <laughs>